I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, today is Wednesday, April 21st. I'm Reed Peterson. Welcome back, Falcons. With some seniors back in the school, the rush is on to allow them as many traditions as possible, and that includes securing their parking spots for the rest of the year. While there is less than two months of school left, seniors are still excited to claim a spot on Foothills campus as their own. FSU News took this video as seniors got creative with their paintbrushes in our front parking lot. During the absence of a proper senior prom, a fair amount of seniors are still thankful that they can leave their mark on the school. Painting your own parking spot in front of our school is a senior tradition that was brought back three years ago. Mine's not done yet, but it's obviously right here. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be a DiGiorno box, the pizza brand. And my last name is Del Giorno, and you know, it's not delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, mine yours? is gonna be, this is gonna be my spot. It's not done yet, but. It's gonna be, in the background there's gonna be paw prints and candy because that's what I love. And then there's gonna be a big New York to represent my name for Brooklyn and there'll be a little star on Brooklyn. So mine is from like my favorite video game. It's called Persona 5. So this is just basically the logo from it. I just thought it'd be fun to do it because they might come out with a six game soon. So I, I'm just glad that we kind of at least got to do something because seniors, we don't have a prom. We didn't really have a homecoming. So as long as I get to do something, I'm happy. For all seniors graduating, like me, we have been notified about the location and times for graduation. There will be two ceremonies at the Thomas & Mack Center on May 27th. Make sure to mark that in your calendar. The first ceremony will be at 8 in the morning, and the second ceremony will be at noon. While many pandemic-related changes, such as online learning, are slowly but surely fading away, it seems one thing is here to stay, and that is our Chromebooks. FSU speaks with our technician, Mr. Rusheg, about plans to keep Chromebook an essential part of our curriculums is that teachers have kind of embraced technology in a way that they hadn't ever before. And so things like Canvas aren't just going to suddenly stop. Um, a lot of teachers have decided that they really like the Canvas platform and they're going to continue to work with it. So having those Chromebooks in class will make that easier for the kids. Not only is administration hoping that having Chromebooks in the classroom will help, administration is also hoping that it will help us save money so we can have funds going towards other places. And a lot of teachers have learned how to go paperless this last year, which beyond the benefit of saving trees and all that, saves the schools a tremendous amount of money. So, As we all know, this could change at any point in time. This is not a set thing, but we can hope and expect that we will be using Chromebooks and that they will be incorporated even into next year's curriculum. This is Abigail Mueller reporting for FST. Good morning, Falcons. I'm Daniel Coffey with FST Sports. Sports are finally kicking off. That's right with students returning in person also have the ability to try out for sports. Fall sports are limited to intramurals and some sports are limited due to coaches competing in the spring season. Although we didn't have enough for this fall season, we are sure looking forward to next season. Okay, so regarding fall intramurals, there are no games or competitions. They do have the opportunity to run an intramural practice period for three weeks with the exception of girls golf. Uh, there are no games or competitions. Football will have one scrimmage to conclude its intramural period. None of the other teams will have an opportunity to participate against any other teams. Winter sports are in the same boat. If you would like, 
contact your sports coach and see if they'll allow for an intramural or some form of practice. And as for the spring season, though, Spring sports are a go, and we're excited about that in the process of finalizing the schedules there. Uh, baseball, it looks like, is going to get the opportunity to play about 11 or 12 games. Softball is probably likely to play 12 or 13. Games and practices will have weekly COVID tests, along with a survey to ensure the players and coaches' safety. For every participant, whether it's intramural or spring sport, they must submit a negative COVID test to myself, and I have to have that on file. Baseball, softball, and football will do weekly testing here at Foothill High School beginning on the week of April 5th. All of us are required to basically complete a COVID survey on a daily basis. That's all coaches, all players, or participants. Through all the rough patches of the past school year, it's great to finally see that things are getting back to normal. To have some semblance of a season, it doesn't matter to me what hoops we have to jump through, what guidelines we have to do, what testing we have to do. It's worth it for them to get a chance to practice and compete in the last few weeks of their senior year. In addition to football, the team has an opportunity to play at the brand new Allegiant Stadium. Yes, nine hand-picked high school football teams have the chance to play where the professionals play. Although your athletes are able to go in there and play, do whatever they need to, spectators are only allowed to stay outside. This is Daniel Coffey, FST News, and now back to the news desk. Yearbooks are still on sale. Due to the nature of this distant learning school year, the 2020-2021 yearbook is sure to be the one of, if not the most unique one. There are $80 right now. Buy one before it's too late. Since graduation is almost here, finals are just around the corner. If you are struggling in a subject, the AP Club is here to help you with your questions. Contact Ms. Peterson or Ms. Smith to join the AP Club. They can help you with any subject, so don't be afraid to reach out. That's all the news going around the virtual campus today, Falcons. We're happy to bring the Hill to your home. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at FSC News. Or check us out at FSCNews.com. From all of us here at FS News, have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you right back here next Wednesday.